Are you fed up of your slow editing speed? Is your computer having a hard time editing videos while you cannot even properly see the preview? Well, that might be one of the biggest reasons why you feel like giving up on editing videos. That's because of your outdated PC, right? Well, as someone has said, it's not the gear that matters, it's you and your idea that matters the most. So keeping that in mind, instead of making lame excuses, I finally managed to find something that might possibly make a huge difference in your life. So I'm about to show you how you can edit 4K or even 8K on a low spec PC. Although I wonder why wouldn't you have a good PC when you can afford an 8K camera. Anyway, it's a really versatile technique and is not something that I think will ever get old or outdated. By that what I mean is that you can literally use this trick anytime, any day, it doesn't matter if you're going to use it today or even 5 years later, it'll still be working like it does today. Enough with the talk already, now let's jump right into the tutorial. Now just wait, watch and learn how I edit 4K on this machine. So now get ready cause one of your biggest problem is about to get resolved. Hey what's up guys, Aditya here. Without any further ado, let's get started. Just for the sake of making this video for everyone, I'll be demonstrating the process on some of the most popular editing softwares like Adobe Premiere, Vegas Pro and Wondershare Filmora. Even if you don't use any of those three softwares, don't worry, the process will still be the same for pretty much all the editing softwares available out there. So the PC that I'm using right now isn't the most powerful or anything, it's just an average PC that can hardly edit 1080p. I'll be working with a 4K video shot by my Sony A6300 which has insanely huge bitrate. So first of all just import all the videos that you'll basically need throughout the editing. So all of our 4K clip has now been imported, now let's start editing. You see how it hangs? It makes my PC very unresponsive, this sort of lag you'd face pretty much every time you try to edit such high resolution videos, especially 4K videos on such machine. You won't see the preview while scrubbing through the timeline, you have to wait for like 8 to 15 seconds after your each and every command. The situation is same on pretty much all the editors, even on the Vegas Pro, you'd see this choppy preview, although no effect have been applied yet on any of the clip. And the preview is also set to auto, which most probably chooses the lowest preview resolution available. Forget about the details, keep dreaming about editing even on the half resolution preview. Nothing changed even after switching to the Adobe Premiere. So once you have imported all your high res clips into the editing software, just save the project and close the editor. Now you'll need Wondershare Video Converter Pro. You can download it from the link which is down there in the description. Once it's installed, open it up. Now import all the clips that you're gonna be using for your project. Make sure that those are the exact same video that you imported into the editing software earlier for your project. Once you are done importing, click on this drop down, then go to video tab and click on edit icon beside the same as source. You could name it anything, I'd like to call it 4K downgrade cause that's what we're gonna do. Coming down to the encoder option, choose H.264 for the resolution, I'll be going with the one that's below the standard HD just to get the complete smooth performance, although my PC could have handled HD just fine. You can change the frame rate if you want, but I'd suggest you to stick with the auto so that your video will be encoded in its natural frame rate. Now in the bitrate, I'd suggest you to choose the lowest one available. If 900 kbps is the lowest one, choose the 900 kbps. Now for the rest of the settings, leave it as it is. These are the settings that I think works best for me. You can adjust these according to what works best for you and your PC. The most important options were just resolution and bitrate and once you are done with both, hit the create button and proceed. Here you'll find your newly created profile, click on it 
Once you do that, you'll see the details of your target file. Well, that shows some crazy conversion estimation. We are converting a 4K file that's around 500 MB into a 7 MB video. Isn't that insanely cool? Well, if that's not cool enough for you, then enable the high speed conversion toggle by clicking on this turn on button to get some super quick conversion. Now hit the convert all button to start encoding. That was pretty quick. Once it's done, open the converted files location. So these are the encoded downgraded videos. Copy them up. Now open the folder where you kept your original high res files. Now rename all the files one by one. You can just simply add a B at the end of the files name because we are just currently backing them up and in case if you get this error then make sure that you have properly closed your editing software then try again. It should get renamed just fine. Rename all the videos. Once you are done just paste or drag and drop those newly converted videos into this main folder. Now open your project. And when you check the details of any video, it'll get changed to the downgraded one. Because all of the file has now been relinked with the new one. So now if you try to scribble through the timeline, it'll just glide through it. The preview will become buttery smooth. Same with the Vegas Pro. All the frames are now being shown at the real time. You can add effects and preview it seamlessly. Even on the Premiere Pro, where it was struggling to even preview the normal video without any effect applied, is now color grading and showing the preview altogether. Now edit the project as you'd like to. Just fully edit the video and once you get done editing, just save the project and close the software. Now open the video folder and delete the downgraded converted videos. Then again, rename the backup files by removing the B from the name of all the videos. Once they are back to their original name, open the editing software once again. You'll see that the original 4K files are back and everything will start lagging again. But, but, because you have already edited the project, it'll still have all the edits that you applied before and will remain just like that. So literally we just edited a 4K project on a PC that wasn't even probably able to edit 1080p. Well that's pretty much it. Now render the project as per your need. Keep in mind that it may take a couple of hours or even more to render. So here's what we did. We took the 4K video and reduced its bitrate as well as resolution then converted it out. Since the encoded video is small and has quite low bitrate, your PC will have better time reading and writing the new file. At the same time, it'll still have a decent amount of detail for a casual edit. And that's what makes this setup works like a charm. The reason why I use this video converter is because it has quite a few cool features and some of my favorites are the high speed data conversion mode, custom profile and of course the focus support that I really dig in. There are lots of other features that comes bundled up with this converter such as downloader, burner, transfer and it also has few cool media tools like video metadata fixer and it works quite well. The VR converter is a really unique tool using which you can convert normal videos into 360 degree VR compatible videos. Do let me know if you want me to do a video especially on this VR converter. Using the cast feature you can cast and play videos directly to your PC from your computer. It also has a built in screen recorder and a GIF maker. If you want me to do a complete review video on the software, do let me know I may make another video soon so that I can show you each and every single feature of the software.